I see that you guys really like the PCEP video, so this is a follow-up to that. These are the five best ways that you can start learning Python today, and these methods can all also be used as follow-ups to the things that you've learned from the PCEP certification, so if you did it or started learning. And so without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So I made a whole video about this, and you can check that out later, and this is the absolute best method, in my opinion, for you to start learning Python, because it has a structured order of things to learn, and it makes you uh, go through everything that you need to learn in detail for free. Again, check out my video that I made on the PCEP certification. I explained everything that you need to know, including how to sign up, costs, syllabus, and anything else that you might need to know, including exam details and I'll have it linked in the description below, or you can check the top right corner for a video card. Anyways, moving on to the next option. So, another great option that you can use is Udemy. Do keep in mind though that Udemy courses will cost anywhere from $20 to $100, or like around that range, but they are almost always of extremely high quality with practice exercises, the ability to talk to your instructor, ask specific questions, and other features that Udemy offers. Of course, I'm saying Udemy, but other services such as Skillshare are also great. I just haven't used Skillshare, so I didn't really mention it. So since I live in Toronto, the TDSB offers a computer science course for high school students called ICS, which stands for Introduction to Computer Science. This course, uh, going from grade 10 to grade 12, covers a lot of the same things as other options, such as basic things like variables, lists, and other things that you need to know that are basic fundamentals. But this also covers uh, and has a heavy focus on graphical user interfaces. You will learn how to use tkinter, creating windows, manipulating objects, moving them around, creating buttons and checklists, and the final project is usually to create your own game, but can be different in some cases. So this method is a bit more complicated than the other ones, since you have to do it yourself, but it's also more effective because of that. So self-learning is uh, basically using platforms such as GitHub, Stack Overflow, and finding projects uh, online that you can do and using other resources to give you a richer understanding of everything that you learn, and of course, you'll also feel prouder at the end for doing it on your own. But of course, you do run the risk of uh, doing things wrong and not, and not learning proper coding skills, such as organizing your code differently, uh, like differently than the standard, or other things like that, so just be careful. And lastly, YouTube projects slash courses. Personally, this is my favorite method because it is a combination of self-learning and courses. And there are tons, and I mean tons, of free coding courses on YouTube. Even just a quick search will get you thousands of hours of content at your fingertips. One YouTube series that I personally recommend is a series made by CS Dojo, which introduces you to all of the basic concepts of Python, and I'll leave a link for that in the description below. And the second great thing about YouTube is that once you have the general knowledge of Python, you can also look for projects that other people have made on YouTube, such as simple games like Snake, Pong, and other things like that, and see how they did it, try to come up with something unique on your own, and maybe you could put it on your portfolio or something like that. Anyways guys, those are the five methods that I think are great starting points if you want to start coding right now. Since all of them are accessible and will teach you in depth about the uh, basic fundamentals of Python, and they can all give you a great head start into the world of programming. 